where Subaru is going to need a bath after this trip. So now John and I are at West Giles Peacock Springs State Park. It is about 15 minutes from our cabin at Lafayette Blue Springs State Park. And Peacock Springs is in um, the city of Live Oak or in the area of the city of Live Oak. This park is very popular for divers uh, to dive in the spring and go into the cave system. It's also very popular for hiking and bird watching. These steps are dedicated to the memory of cave diver I. Shack Exley, 1949 to 1994, an original explorer and survivor of the Peacock Cave System and friend of the caves. Hello, how you doing? Hi. Oh, wonderful. I hope you guys are doing this good. Peacock Springs State Park is located in a uniquely beautiful part of Florida's Swanee River Valley, where the limestone rock that typically occurs at or near the surface has gradually eroded or dissolved over time, creating a geologic landscape known as karst. Some features of karst topography include dry sinkholes, offset sinkholes, karst windows, caves, siphons and springs. Oh, wow. Ah! Spiderweb! <laughs> Look at this. Oh wow. Uh, you were just amazed by fungus. Watch out, there's a spider web there. It's probably all in my head. Cave environments. Beneath your feet, interconnected fissures and tunnels of all sizes extend thousands of feet through the porous walk of the aquifer forming a complex network of pipe-like conduits. These conduits store immense quantities of water. They also transport water long distances through the earth, reaching the surface as springs that can produce millions of gallons of fresh water daily. So those guys that we saw back there, they were all diving into the cave system. Right. I like this trail. Yeah. Nice. 
I mean, it has a little bit of a challenge to it with the uh, uphills and downhills, but not so steep that, you know, that would exhaust you. I never heard of sparkleberry. This large shrub or small tree puts on an impressive display of small white flowers in the spring and produces large number of shiny, shiny dark berries in the summer. The fruit is bitter and foraging animals often prefer other species of blueberry. However, sparkleberry holds its fruit well into the winter and its berries are eaten by a wide variety of birds as other food sources dwindle. Hmm. I've never heard of a sparkle berry, have you? I think we've seen them before. I didn't read it. Ah! <laughs> Another spider web. The gaping depression before you is the sinkhole. These karst formations can vary tremendously in size and depth. Some are very shallow, while others, such as nearby Devil's Millhopper in Gainesville, Florida, may be over 100 feet deep. Many sinkholes cover only a few square feet, but some may encompass hundreds or even thousands of acres. Many sinkholes are dry, but numerous water-filled sinkholes exist as well. A sizable number of sinkholes connect directly to underground aquifers. This particular sinkhole, which is still active, sits directly over a section of cave known as peanut restriction. There's a tree growing out of it. Well, it's definitely a well-kept trail. Well-kept trail. Yeah. What? Good. Yeah, it's got good markings. So not even us could get lost on it, right? <laughs> Crypt. Underground collapses of limestone in water-filled caves are common occurrences. Caves can support the weight of overlying rock and sediments when they are filled with groundwater. However, if groundwater levels drop, cave ceilings, ceilings can weaken and collapse. Some collapse, some collapses areas can appear as huge pyramid-shaped piles of rubble and boulders. Others may completely block a cave passage and change the hydro hydrology or flow of a cave system. The collapse in the crypt completely blocked the cave tunnel and left only small crevices that lead to crawdad sinkhole. 
Beneath Your Feet, cave explorer Sheck Exley chronicled the discovery of this room in 1975. He named it the crypt because of the skeletal remains of a large turtle found there. Sheck speculated that a room almost 400 feet long and more than 100 feet wide existed there prior to the collapse. Beneath your feet, nestled amongst the maples and hickories, lies an aqua, aquamarine gem called Olsen Sink. It is a beautiful example of a karst window. Just below the surface of the shallow pool are the limestone boulders that were once part of the roof of the cave passage that was revealed when this sink collapsed. Today you may see minnows and crayfish darting in and out of the cave and on occasion the bright lights of cave divers as they swim past the window below you. Oh, there's a diver down there. Nicholson Tunnel. Cave diving statesman Henry Nicholson, one of the original members of the National Speleological Society Cave Diving Section, was a very active diving instructor and founder of the International Underwater Cave Rescue and Recovery Organization. He served as a mentor and statesman for the cave diving community for more than 30 years. Beneath your feet, thousands of years of water barreling through the cave has created massive main passages. Secondary passages such as the Nicholson Tunnel transport less water and have lower rates of flow. These side tunnels are smaller and have a heavy silt buildup on the walls and floors. Yep, it's the pothole. In 1967, Scuba was still in its infancy. There was no cave diver training or specialized equipment available for diving in underwater caves. Divers entered this foreign environment with nothing but, a, nothing but a healthy dose of curiosity and the determination to discover what was around the next corner. There's people coming up? Yeah. No, I think they kept on going. Those who plumb the depths. For years, cave divers were lured into the labyrinth by the unknown. Today, however, many cave divers become an integral part of the effort to protect Florida springs. They record observations of cave conditions and take water samples for water quality monitoring projects. They remove trash from sinkholes and donate cave maps to guide state land acquisition projects which protect our groundwater. 
Cave divers will always be drawn to the darkness by the thrill of exploration. But their diligent efforts to help protect our fragile springs and caves are giving their exploits a new meaning.